And Ryder DeFrancisco got a great start from the inside. He was way on the inside. Let's see if he can hold on to it. They race to the next little bump. DeFrancisco sweeps around the outside, but they're going to give it to Trevor Collip. Collip just a little bit ahead as they came under that Bell uh, Hole Shot Award Tower, and that's where they uh, do the actual scoring. But I think that Ryder may have had uh, just as uh, strong advantage coming through those turns as well. But and right now, it looks Collip's like got Collip, it. yeah, he's, he's doing everything he can with that early lead. Ryder D slips back about three spots. So Collip, number 74 on the KTM, going to have to deal with Ryder D now. One rider taking over the point, rider number 22. And that would be Caden Braswell. Everybody, that big target on the back of Ryder Francisco's jersey. Everybody wants a piece of that kid. Anywhere he goes, he is a wanted man. Got a black and white poster at every little small town. Braswell, by the way, finished 10th in Moto 1. So a good start for him, I think, here in Moto number 2. Ah, great start. Yeah. Absolutely. This is Mini Senior 1, 12 to 13. The Ryder D still on the hammer there, though, it looks like. As we dip back behind him, it's the 41 machine, and that one is. Maybe that's. 41's Nicholas Romano. Normally runs uh, the 411. Yeah. Clipped one of the ones off, and. Caden Braswell, a big kid on that KTM, too. He's probably three, four, five inches taller than Ryder D. Francisco. Ryder D. now starting to reel him in. Goes around on the outside. Oh, big problem there for Braswell. Has to fight the machine coming out of that rut. And Ryder D. has the momentum. Here it comes, Rodney. And Ryder D. is pulling the trigger. He took aim. He's ready to fire over the tunnel of love. Still not going to be able to make that shot on Braswell. Braswell rising to that occasion. Keeping an eye as well back there on Nick Romano for third. Preston Bosblog back in the number four spot. Wyatt Matson is fifth, but keep an eye again on the 41 machine, just watching the battle between Braswell and DeFrancesco at this particular point. Well, I'll tell you what, Miles Gilmore, nowhere to be found from what I can see. He was your first Moto winner, and we're not picking him up inside the top 15 anyway. So things kind of working out. Where's he at, 23rd? 23rd, yeah. Woo. He's got some work to do. This is a good thing for Ryder D. Francisco with a seventh place in that first photo. Here comes Nicholas Romano trying to match the pace of Braswell and D. Francisco. Cisco, that is. Pardon me. KTM's Kate. Out in Corey Land we go. Caden Braswell. All right, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm becoming a fan of this again, watching these two riders ride and, and watching to see what uh, DeFrancesco is going to be able to do against Braswell. But I'm also still keeping an eye on Romano. Uh, this kid seems to be finding his own. He had to fight his way up in some earlier motos just to, to finish top 10. And here in moto number one of the many senior one class, class we saw him actually only able to muster up as far as an 11th place finish in that first moto, but uh, striking hard in moto two to try uh, to get a little bit of redemption, it looks like. Yeah, Romano way off the track in that sand section. Big cluff, puff of white yeah. dust pops up. That means he was way off of the racetrack. Hey, tonight, 7 p.m. over at the MXers for Jesus truck. We have church service at 7 p.m. They're celebrating their 21st year at the races, providing ministry. So. Hope you'll stop by and join Kevin Kozat, MXers for Jesus, at the MXers for, or FMF, really, F I believe. FMF. FMF at 7 p.m. Rod D. Francisco's in a hurry. You know why? Because they got dinner served. It's for <laughs> Thor and Kawasaki. That's right. So he's got two tickets punched up there to the Lucas Oil Pavilion to go eat some dinner. So he's kind of wanting, can we wrap this up? His podium speech is going to be quick. They'll probably have a hot plate waiting for him at the podium <laughs> instead of a glass of water. Let's throw some mashed potatoes in his face. <laughs> And Braswell riding the wheels off of this KTM, guys. Nicholas Romano coming along for the for the ride as well. Preston Base Flute is fourth. Wyatt Matson fifth. Gavin Tower sixth. Trevor Cullett was your whole shot award winner in seventh. Hamden Hudson eighth. Kyle Smith and Jordan Beast. And where is the Australian first moto winner, Rodney? He was 23rd on that first lap. What a fantastic view as they worked their way through the Ten Commandments, the overhead shot of just how gnarly this racetrack is, Rodney.
19th place position for Miles Gilmore. Well, big problem for Braswell again. Can Ryder D. Francisco capitalize? No, that's two wow. huge miscues by Braswell. And, and, he, and, and he's, he been able to write, to, he's been able to come right back. That's the amazing thing. You know, and I'm, wow, here come, we're not done yet. And again, we've, we've talked about it all day long, how raceable this racetrack is. You can go side by side with somebody and you, it's no faster to be on the inside or the outside. It's just dead even. Look at them. They're proving it every time they hit a turn straight away. <laughs> You know, Randy Poulter and crew have done an awesome job with this racetrack. They most certainly have. And Caden Braswell, by no stretch of the imagination, is not, uh, well, is certainly uh, not out of the uh, contention for a win here in, in, when you think about it. But honestly, you know, Braswell's a strong rider, but I never put him in this position. I just want to say that he has really made some leaps and bounds since the last time I watched the 22 ride, and he is showing a lot of heart as well as a lot of determination to stay in that number one spot here today. Here it comes, the race heating up out front. Caden Braswell, 22 on the KTM, getting it from number 99, Ryder DeFrancisco. And how do you stay at it with that much pressure and not make any oh, mistakes? I think he's made three, and it finally cost him. Ryder DeFrancisco. Got a little loose coming wow. out of that last turn, trying to get the drive toward the finish line. Momentum on the outside for the 99. Uh, De Francesco puts him into that number one spot, though. But look, Braswell's not. Braswell just riding on the ragged edge, Rodney. Really kind of struggling, to be honest with you. He is trying to get out of those ruts. He seems to be having some issues with him. Ryder D going right for the belly of the beast, right in the middle of those things. Nicholas Romano hanging right in there. He yeah. wants to join in, dude. Give me the basketball. I want to play. Even after going off the track uh, over there for a few moments, uh, they have now an eight second lead over, or he does, an eight second lead over fourth place. He's only two and a half seconds behind the battle for the lead when they came through the finish line last time. Gavin Towers, there's the name, uh, uh, the number 58 up to fifth place. Wyatt Matson in sixth, Kyle Smith seventh, Trevor Collum is eighth, Hamden Hudson in ninth, and Noah Stevens rounding out the top 10. Now Towers is another one of those names that we're watching work his way up through the ranks of these uh, 85 CC classes and many senior classes and so forth. Uh, seems like he's always kind of been there, but look at him now. He's been riding solidly close to, if not inside the top five every time I've seen him this week. Totally agree. 12 minutes to go. We've raced up to seven minutes so far. Caden Braswell is going to be a good big bike rider. He's another one of those kids that's head and shoulders taller than most of the guys out there on the racetrack, kind of like Pierce Brown was on the Super Minis in 85. So look to see Caden Braswell adjust to the big bikes really quickly. He's not going to spin his next three years on a super mini. He is going to be way too big, so we'll see him make the jump early. I bet at age 14, we'll see Caden Braswell, probably after Loretta's, he's going to be thinking about a big bike. Oh, yeah, he's got some sides on him, too, it looks like. And he's got the, he's got the uh, skills to match, too. And the skill, just like you say, exactly. Nicholas Romano wants to jump there and jump leapfrog over Caden Braswell, and he is close enough to do it. He's on the 41 machine, the bright yellow gear. That is Nicholas Romano. He cleaned house at Sunday Creek. It was a late regional there in Ohio, but was still able to clean house when he went up there on his 411, now 41. One of the reasons, I guess, again, I didn't necessarily recognize him in the early part of this, but wow. Uh, the first moto, I don't, I'm not sure. I think he, had, he finished just outside the top 10 and a little redemption for him here in the second moto. Yeah, so if you just went by the first moto scores and said, all right, well, those guys, are, there's, these three guys were seventh, 10th, and outside of the top 10 was Romano, and now they're one, two, and three, so. Loretta's is just a finicky, finicky thing. Yes, That's why it is. we race three motos, too. Yes, yes, it is. Hey, folks, listen up. 5.30, coming up uh, in about uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes at the, uh, M uh, at the uh, Suzuki Pits. MX Sports Pro Racing Orientation for future pro riders. So if you're looking at moving into the pro class, we have an orientation going on tonight at the Suzuki Pits. So all future pros must be heading down to the uh, Suzuki Pits right now. MX Sports Pro Racing Orientation getting underway in 20 minutes. Also, you better head down there, Ronnie. Get I ready. know. Gonna be a future I'm, I'm pro. Stepping up next year. Yamaha Track Walk with Ryan Villapoto started the first turn and through the Ten Commandments. I, we've been saying, and I said, I thought I read for Yamaha riders, but it's all riders are welcome. So anyone that wants to go out and walk the track with Ryan Villapoto, head to the starting line following the last moto today. Caden Braswell coming under the attack of another Kawasaki rider. It's a Kawasaki sandwich right now with Ryder De Francisco out front. Braswell on the orange KTM in the number two spot. And then you have Romano out of New York.
enjoying watching Braswell just slug it out with everybody on the racetrack. Romano has him in his sights. The track is rough. Romano rising to the challenge. Here comes your leader right for the announcer's tower. Number 99 out of California, Ryder Francisco. Here's Braswell, the number 22 ride on the orange, bright orange KTM. Romano with a little miscue out of the left-hander in the finish line turn. So it gives Braswell just a bit of breathing room. And our first moto winner, I think you're trying to look into that. There's the Cowie boys with the green flags waving for Nicholas Romano. Trying to go after Caden Braswell. But you know, I'm looking down through here right now. Jordan Bees. I don't see that name in this mini senior class. 12th oh, yeah, place. 12th place. Wow. There's Miles Gilmore who has climbed up to 14th. He was our first moto winner out of Australia. And Gilmore on the number 16, Husqvarna, has worked his way up into 14th. So he's salvaging. A good ride here. B's finished sixth in moto number one. He's 12th. Crazy how the up and down have, parody. Yeah, Love it. Have flipped around so much. This will shake up the championship. A 7-1 for Ryder D. Francisco. A 10-2 for Caden Braswell. And try to see where Nicholas Romano finished in the first moto. I want to point out something. Gavin Tower 11. is currently running in fifth place right now. He finished fourth in moto number one. He's one of the more consistent riders we have in the top five right now. Yeah, he sure is. Absolutely. Romano finished 11th. Braswell was 10th. DeFrancisco was 7th. And now they run 1, 2, 3. And your first moto winner back in 14th, Nicholas Romano, just rides a ragged edge, man. That Kawasaki just kicks him right in the butt every chance it gets. Bozfuck took a fifth place position finish. 4, 5. Tower, so they're 5, 4. Of, there yeah. you go. Yeah. So they got 5-4, that's nine points. Ryder D's got eight, he's got a 7-1. So it's gonna be all kind of yeah, need an tight. abacus. That third moto is gonna get excited, yeah. I'd say. Start's gonna be critical. Thankfully, David Smith has 14 toes living next to that nuclear reactor plant there so he can do all the math he needs on that podium in that third and final moto. He's gonna need it. Yes, it is uh, De Francesco through now with six laps complete. And uh, we are 12 and a half minutes into this 20 minute moto. He's already established a six-second lead over Braswell as they battled so intensely in the early part of this race. Nick Romano, 2.3 seconds back of Braswell. Bose plug, 12 seconds back of Romano in fourth. Towers is now 6.4 behind Bose plug for the fifth place position. That was after five and after uh, six uh, laps complete. We see the gap opening now to 15 seconds between third and fourth and only just four seconds now between fourth and fifth place rides. Ryder D with the quickest lap on lap number four, 205, just about a 205 flat as he makes his way through the Ten Commandments. Braswell still has him in sight. Ryder D just now exiting and Braswell in the Ten Commandments. He's right behind him. They're on the same straightaway. There it is. There's a shot of Braswell on the orange KTM. Miles Gilmore is still maintaining a top 15, but unfortunately I was just watching the screen there as um, I've seen uh, one of our Jordan B's, he's dropping. He still hasn't finished that uh, sixth lap. He's back as far as 20th place right now. Miles Gilmore slips back to 15th, now having some problems as Adler Caudill gets around him. Mitchell Zaremba up in the number 13 spot. Nicholas Laurie 12th, Noah Stevens 11th, and Hamden Hudson holds down that coveted top 10. Dude, just getting a top 10 here. It's like everybody wants want to get top 10 Loretta's. I want to be top 10 at Loretta's. It's a big deal. I, I think just scoring a top 10 in this particular class, the mini senior 112, the 13 year old class, is a big deal. Sure. I mean, this, I mean, it I is just in every that. class, but when you look at this, the competition that's stacked in in this class, the top 10, yeah. it's not a championship, but man, everybody's looking at you anyway. Ryder D just sent it on that single just as far as he could jump over all of the breaking bumps going into the left hander, the finish line. That's just the little things he's doing at every opportunity. He is in a big hurry because, as we stated, he, uh, he's got a dinner to go to, free dinner. It's like Jason Wyatt giving up a free meal. That's not happening. <laughs> no way. He will eat nine free meals. One of the most frugal individuals I've ever met. Frugal. That, uh, he's cheap as crap. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's what he is. Wow. 
two lap card, I think, uh, coming out this next time around, if I'm not mistaken. So we're basically about three laps out from a checker. Two and a half now as we roll through this lap number eight for our leaders. V. Francesco, Braswell, Romano, Boesflug, Tower still the top five. You see absolutely no change there. Kyle Smith, the number 12 machine. He's back in that number six position. As we look at Kyle Smith, he's been a second in moto number one. So we start looking at that. A two and a, a six and a, a two and a six at this point is eight. That actually ties him with Ryder D for right the, the championship. Mix. Yeah. And he's yep. in sixth place right now. Wow. Yeah. So seven one and a six two. That all equals the go. same. Third moto is going to be very, very interesting. A lot of nervous kids going into that last one. <laughs> I got to feel pretty good if I'm Ryder D. Francisco because I know I've already won a few motos. Some right. of these other kids really are kind of hanging out third, fourth, fifth. So Ryder right. knows he has that. He can go out and do what he can do. Now he's just going to have to have a little help with everybody else yeah. helping him out mathematically here. Getting close to the Lucas Oil last lap. Ryder D. Francisco looking over his shoulder, checking in on Instagram, freaky fast. He's probably posting right now. There he just went. He just went, checked in, boom, over the finish line jump. He did. Watch this right here. He's going to come around this sweeper, and he's going to pin this Kawasaki and jump as far as he can over all these ruts. He'll bounce. He'll slam into this thing, and he just, I ah, didn't do it. I totally blew that. I totally lied. It was impressive. He did it last time. It was cool looking, but that's awesome. Not going to do it. <laughs> okay, let's see. One more lap to go. The Lucas Oil lap. Yes, there are kids getting paid to fly drones now, so... All you kids with big dreams, you're watching on Racer TV, the live drone footage as we cut back and forth. I don't know that anybody's done that. It's always been cable cams, making those uh, drones work to be able to go wirelessly in between the two and back to your static cameras. That's that's some new technology that I think we've even beat pro motocross at. Well, uh, you got to hand it to the RacerTV.com staff. We do a lot of innovative, a lot of innovative type. Uh, you making things. up words? That's a, that's innovative right there. Exactly. Out in the uh, woods. Remember, we're trying to cover a 12-mile course out there, and camera angles and shots are tough to get. Sure. And this drone has come in oh. amazingly handy, and it has brought a whole new perspective to watching a GNCC race as well. I bet. I bet that looks pretty cool, too. Let's take a ride through the Ten Commandments with our drone. And let's just change that shot real quick as we get back to our leader, number 99, Ryder D. Francisco on the Lucas last lap. One more to go for Ryder. And he puts himself in contention going into that third moto. A lot of kids up and around that seven, eight, nine point range there. Miles Gilmore has gotten back up to 12th. So he's got a 12-1. He's got 13 points. Ryder with 7-1, Caden Brazo with a 10-2, Romano with a 11-3. A lot of, lot of parity in this class. Yeah, four, uh, what is it, a 5-4 and a 4-5. Yeah, close plug and Base plug and Smith back there in sixth still uh, at last check. A two and a six is eight for him. So like we said, going into that third moto, he's tied with Di Francesco. Now, we talk about the uh, comfort zone that Di Francesco is going to have going into this, but you have to think that maybe Kyle Smith has one as well because he feels strong. He, he ran a very strong moto in that first moto, and he's had some good rides out here as well. So he, if he's positive enough, he might be able to think himself right into being competitive for that last race. One more turn for the number 99. Here he comes. Let's all Give a salute to number 99, Ryder Francisco. He's going to nail down a big, big moto win. That was important. Yep, got another lap. That's awesome. I am dialed in, dude. I am really dialed in. The Lucas Oil last lap coming up here on this white flag lap. Let's uh, give him a salute again, then, Ronnie, just for the heck of it. He's riding really good. All right. Big Weston Pike running around on the uh, RM85, same bike he rode 15 years ago. Braswell's hanging tough. He's six seconds back of Ryder D. Francesco. Romano is nine seconds back of Braswell. All righty, final lap. Ryder D on its way home to quite possibly another championship for this young man. One of the youngest champions to ever claim one at five years old. 
on the PW. He was a defending champion. I've never seen a kid come back and defend a championship in the PW class to be young enough and fast enough to win it the first time and still be mathematically eligible to do it again is ridiculous. He came back and defended two-time PW champ. Go find that guy. Man, that is that is crazy, and he is crazy fast as well. And we see why he's still top of the, the crowd there and one of the elite riders that we have here at the Amateur yep. National Championship finale. He's going to head overseas along with about five other kids to uh, represent America a couple of weeks after we finish up here in Australia. That's going to be fun. He may uh, get to hang out with uh, Miles Gilmore. Gilmore's like, all right, I came to your house now. you got to go to my house here in about two weeks. <laughs> Hey, if you lost your dog, there's a, a white husky mix shepherd dog right there here at the base of the tower. Rodney Francisco, big fist pump there, Rodney. He's pumped. He's going to go get that dog. He won the dog. We're going to give him the dog on the podium. <laughs> he won the dog. Get the dog for Ryder D. <laughs> Did you see the little fancy fist pump? That, yeah, that was Ryder a different one. Had a that, swirly swirl to yeah, it. Something's that going was on. a lot different than your normal just a fist pump. That had some style to it. There you go. So there's your uh, podium. De Francisco, Braswell, Romano, and they just added some more drama going into that third and final moto because it is all bunched up with a lot of kids with the same score. It's going to be fun to watch. It most certainly is. As we look at the Rocky Mountain top ten leaderboard again, De Francesco, Braswell, Romano. Then it's Bose Plug checking in at the number four spot. Gavin Towers in fifth. We look to uh, Kyle Smith for sixth. Again, a 2 6 for him will put him in the tie for the lead with Ryder D. Wyatt Matson in seventh. Benjamin Garib at eighth. Hamden Hudson in ninth. And Noah Stevens rounding out the top ten as we head down to the race tech podium with Jason Wygan. Dave Smith. There we go. It was, it was a 50 50 shot. We are on the podium right now with your mini senior one, 12 to 13 year old winner. This kid is freaky fast. I wonder why it is that way. But our winner, Ryder DeFrancisco, on the number 99 machine, is our winner. I need to get some medals for this young man. Thank you. Ryder, you earned another gold medal. Goes around your neck. Tell us how that moto went down and what you thought about it. I uh, got to a decent start. Um, Can't get around me. Got stuck up with some kids the first couple quarters, but I uh, managed to get in second. And uh, I knew how to go. So um, Kane was making a couple mistakes, and I knew I could capitalize on them, and I did. So um, tried to pull a gap from then, and uh, pulled a nice easy gap, and just rode from there. Once you took over the lead, did you feel the pressure from those guys behind you, or did you just ride your own race? Um, I had to keep an eye on them, but um, I run my own race most of the time, and uh, they're riding good, so you got to keep it on your toes, and uh, it's the roughest the track's going to get, so I mean, that proves the best, right? It's a late-day moto. You held on. You took the, the win for this moto. You've got a couple people you'd like to thank for being up here. Yeah, my mom, my dad, my mechanic, Kua, Jimmy Johns, Pro Circuit, Kawasaki, Monster Energy, Renthal, 60 Helmet, Scott Goggles, Troy Designs, um, Alpine Stars, um, anyone else, thank you. There you have him. Ryder D. Francisco, your mini senior one, second moto winner. We're going to get Trevor Collop up here real quick. Trevor Collop is your Bell $100 whole shot award winner. Trevor, hold that up. Get some pictures here real quick. Trevor Collip, part of the SSR program up there in Indiana. Trevor, how'd your race go? How'd that whole shot work out for you? I got off to a, I got the whole shot. I had a, I got the whole shot. I had a pretty good first lap. I over jumped something and then my suspension just blew out. So then I couldn't, so I just putted around the rest of the race. Well, you, you got the whole shot. You got what matters as far as the money goes for this race. Who would you like to thank for getting that whole shot for you? SSR, Fly, DQ Tune, Spikes KTM, Cycle Gear, and everyone else I forgot. Thank you. Thank you very much. There you have it. It's Trevor Collip, your whole shot, $100 Bell Shot Award winner. Next up, I need to get Caden Braswell, your number two 
finisher. Your finisher in the second position on the number 22 machine, Caden Braswell. He's got a he's got a little unpep in his step. He's working his way up here. Maybe he tweaked his knee. Let's go out front here. There you go with your silver medal. Caden, tell us about your race out there. I mean, I got off to a decent start. Uh, and I just worked my way from there. And then uh, probably about fourth lap, rider passed me. I made a couple mistakes. And then I just tried to regrip and uh, ride smooth and get the moto done with. You ready for the next moto now? This one's behind you. Or are you looking forward to that one? Looking forward to the next one. It's going to be fun. <laughs> All right. Well, that sounds like a that sounds fun to listen to. Be ready to watch that. Well, we'd like to thank you for this. But who would you like to thank? I'd like to thank the Lord Jesus Christ, Mom and Dad, Alpine Star, Troy Lee Designs, Lynx MX, uh, Troy Lee Designs, Dunlop, KTM, Orange Brigade, SMG. Sean's been helping us out a lot over there. Mika Metals, DT1. Man, I just like to give it up to uh, my mom and dad one more time. Thank you all. Thank you. you there he is, Caden Braswell, your second place finisher. Next up, we need to get 41, Nicholas Romano. Nicholas is taking the second moto. He has earned the bronze medal. We'll put that around your neck. Nicholas loses a one. He's usually 4'11". He's 41 here. Tell us how that moto went for you. Uh, the moto is it's all right. Got a third. Just made the podium. Starts all right. Kept up to the guys for about half the moto, and then I just uh, got a little tired. Bike was kicking, so well, we're going to regroup for tomorrow. You ready for this third moto, too? You planning already now? You getting your strategy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we look forward to seeing that one, because there's a lot of strategy, apparently, from what we're learning here on the podium. Who would you like to thank for getting you up here today? My mom, dad, sisters, Sky Soccer Team Green, Bell Helmets, Oakley Goggles, Shift Gear, Mobius, Alpine Stars, uh, Renthal Maxima, PR2, engine, uh, PR2 suspension, Lynx engines, ride Dunlop tires, uh, and everyone else I've got. Thank you. There he goes. It's Nicholas Romano, your third place finisher in the mini senior one, 12 to 13 division. Back up to the announcer's tower.